No, I can't interact with creatures on the board. <laughs> <laughs> no, settle the record. You mean you can interact with creatures somewhere else? Yeah, in the hand. <laughs> in the hand. In the hand. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Game Saver channel for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esmond. I am the Chosen One. I'm Matt. And I'm Paul. And today we are playing with some brand new commanders from Capenna. So I just want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting this show. Of course, you guys have voted on the commander I'm playing today, so you should know what it is. And as usual, if you want to support the show as well, go check out the Patreon. Uh, patrons get early access, they get to chat with me on Discord, play some games, and of course, influence the content we make here. Also, if you want to support us further, go check out our merchandise store, quintessentialcommander.com. We have t-shirts currently, and we will be dropping playmats soon. And just like the previous episode, we will be doing giveaways for the playmats. So if you want to win a signed playmat, or if you want it unsigned, that's fine too. Follow the instructions on screen. We are giving away three play mats every episode. And finally, a big shout out to our camera equipment sponsor, Blackmagic Design, for hooking us up with this sweet camera equipment, making us look good on every single episode. <laughs> so today, I will be playing Tivit, the seller of secrets. I am here to sell some secrets in exchange for clues or treasures. And I will try my best to influence their votes from deep within the shadows of my Sphinx cave. <laughs> I will be playing the Cat Demon, Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. I've decided to play this with a token strategy so I can get as many creatures as I can to fuel Jetmir's ability. I've intentionally avoided the Porphyros Impact Tremors kind of strategy so I want to see how far I can go with it. Oh yes, talking about that, my deck actually has an infinite combo, so just uh, keep that in mind guys. Assault by Demon Cat. I am playing Rigo because I am Mentor of the Meek, Defender of the Weak. I will send my minions to send out an attack and draw cards <laughs> and win with value. Assault by Demon Cat. <laughs> So I'm playing Xander, the Collector. So I'm collecting things from people's graveyards. Uh, their spells, their creatures, and we're gonna see how well we can do with that. He's a demon, so no assault by demon cat. All right, so those are the commanders we're playing today. As usual, if you enjoy our content and this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let's begin. So let's... See who starts first. No! Alright, Gabriel, you are starting first. I will draw. Ooh. I will play Museju, who endures. <laughs> I'll tap yes. one. I'll play a Ginger Brute. Oh no, with haste. With haste! <laughs> Alright. And I will swing at the player with uh, infinite combo. <laughs> just, Esmond, take just one. Just one combo. <laughs> don't, don't declare infinite combos. Just I'll, don't. I'll and I will one. pass. I'll draw for 10. I will play an island. I will tap the island for a soul ring. Oh my gosh. Then I will tap the soul ring for, okay, for a it. talisman. Oh no! Oh then no. I will tap the talisman for a wafer's bubble. You're kidding me. And I will say go. <laughs> oh, so that's what they meant by collector. <laughs> okay, I'll go draw. I will let you collect some damash. I lay a Jetmir's garden tap and pass. It's very, it's very fair, yeah. Very I think we're the most peaceful people. No, it's because it's after the party. Turn, the party was night time, then after the party, it's still hung over. Oh. Alright, my turn. I will draw. I will play a Flooded Strand. And I'll just fetch it now. I'll play one life. I will find Ruffin's Tower. And it enters tapped. Very nice. Go ahead. I untap and draw. Play a Haloed Fountain. I will take, shock it in. Okay. I will tap one green. I will play Nature's Clip. Oh! <laughs> I will destroy Paul's soul ring. Nice. All right. And Paul gains all life. Nice. And since Paul has the highest life, oh. he will collect <laughs> one damage. Collecting everything now. I will tap one blue to play a Siren Storm table. Oh, so good. Oh, protection. Yeah. Okay. And I will pass. Drop a turn. Play a port of Carpel. It enters tap. Okay. And I will say go. Draw. We'll lay a clifftop retreat. And I'll tap two. And cast rampant growth. Nice. Grow, Matthew, grow. Grow. What color do I need? 
Forest Toe. Yep, and I'm gonna draw. A Vault of Champions, which enters untap. And then I will tap two and play my own Rampant Grove, which is a Talisman. Talisman. That is not Close a enough. Rampant Grove. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> that is the non green Rampant Grove. Yes, the non green. That's grove. a Rampant Grove that can be destroyed by your Vandal Blast. I will say go. And drop. I play an Overgrown Farmland. I will tap three mana to play my commander, Rigo. Three to white. Enters with the battlefield with a two counter. And now go combat. One will go at Paul, and another one will go at Matthew. Attack trigger, because I attack two players with creatures with power one or less, I draw a card. Okay. So I attack two players, I draw two cards. Nice. So strong. Okay. Still, still hung over, take one. Alright, and I pass. Okay, during your end step, I will tap two to sacrifice the Wafer's Bobble. I will tutor up a mountain. It enters tapped. So I will untap, I will drop my turn. I will tap two. I will play Dire Fleet Daredevil. Oh! And cast so Rampant Grove. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, I will cast Rampant Grove. <laughs> and cast Rampant I'll tap two, and I'll cast Rampant Grove from <laughs> Matthew's graveyard. Oh, wow, really rampant on this wow. He's been ramping. He's collecting stuff. Collecting. <laughs> collecting your stuff. Oh, has a very strong start. Do you realize how, how close he was to a turn tree Zander? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. I'll find a swamp and I will say go. In the raw, I will cast good swamp. Oh, nice. Pretty good. And I will lay a jungle shrine tap, which causes landfall to trigger. Mm -hmm. I'll get an insect. Insect. An insect. One insect. And I end my turn. Draw. I'll play a prismatic vista. I will pay one life, sacrifice it. I shall get a new Capena Island. Stones. Yep. Enters untapped, then I will tap three and I will play Cunning Rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> flavorful, flavorful. Uh, I am a cunning, cunning uh, sphinx. Uh. So whenever the opponent attacks me, uh, exile the top card of that player's library and I can play it. Okay, sure. And that's it, go ahead. And draw. Now I will go to combat. Siren Storm Tamer will go at Paul, Ginger Brute will go at S1. Okay, so Cunning Rhetoric triggers, um, exile the. You have just triggers first, right? Mind results All right. First. So exile top card. Yes, I need uh, I need the lens. And now we'll draw two. Yep, we go triggers. Yep, we take one each. One each. I. Ouch. And six. I will play a gemstone caverns. Wow, so useful. I will tap three for a halo fountain. Oh! <laughs> halo is. fountain and halo fountain. There it is. And I will tap one green for a fine horn elves. Nice. Nice. And I pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. I will solve the equation. Okay. I'll search. Instant sorcery, right? Yep. Yeah. I will find a treasure cruise. Oh, nice. That is very interesting. It comes to my hand, and then I will say go. Draw. Okay, okay. I'll tap three. Casco Thomas Reach. Oh, no, no. More ramp. Yes, more ramp. <laughs> I will find a forest and a plains. The forest will enter the battlefield tap, and the plains will go to my hand. When the Forest enters, good swarm will trigger, I get another insect. Another. Another. And then I'll lay my land for the turn, I'll lay command tower, then land for triggers. Then since I have six lands, I get a copy of Scoot Swarm. And that's bad. I will go to combat. Do I go to combat? Combat. Yeah, so one insect attacks. Fall. Okay. <laughs> Why? I, I will block with my first strike. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> no, honestly, is I forgot that they ever had first strike. Oh right. <laughs> still hungover, still hungover. <laughs> getting there, getting there. I will draw. Party too much. Party too much. Ugh. First, let me play Gabriel's Island. Nice. Another new Kapana Island. I'll tap three. I will play Toxic Deluge. Sorry. I shall pay two life. So it's two that two minus two minus two? Yep, so all three just get minus two minus two. Until end of turn. Resolves? Resolves. Yep. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye, creatures. Alright, so Rigo goes to the command zone. Rigo will return. I and I will say go. And draw. I will tap two to play a devoted druid. <laughs> combo. <laughs> There's combo. the combo. Yeah, you never declare combos. And I will pass. Drop a turn. I will tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will play Treasure Cruise, Delving 3. Very good. So I will draw 3 cards. Finding lands. 
BS basically finding <laughs> lands. I will play an Is at Boilerworks. Okay. I will return the island to my hand. Move to discard, and I will discard a Rise from the Grave, and I'll say go. Untap, I'll keep. Still hungover, draw. What is this? Holy of Forest. I'll cast another insect. I'll tap seven. Oh and, no! And cast giant <laughs> edifice. Oh no! More insects. Big creature. That's huge. I'll cast giant edifice. Okay. And end my turn. Okay, I will draw for turn. I will play my land for turn. Hawkins oh. National Laboratory. Great play. Yeah. Great play. So I can investigate with that. Great play. I will tap two and play an Arcane Signet. Yeah, and then I'll just say go. In draw. I will tap 3 to play a Druid Repository. Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a charge counter on Druid Repository. Remove a charge counter from Druid's, Druid's no, Repository. Add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Okay, sure. I will go to combat. I will attack Paul with a 0-2 Devoted Druid. I will take nothing. <laughs> Druid's Repository gets one charge counter. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. Draw for 10. Hello, play Hello. Island. Okay. Tap 2, play Arcane Signet. Tap to play Demir Signet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it! Collector, four. all the rings. The 10 rings. Tap 4, like, play yeah, like Hedron Archive. <laughs> I say go! Very, very <laughs> good place. There are... Okay, I'll lay planes. Okay, so who do I attack? Well, I have an incentive for you not to attack me. You could attack the guy who's collecting rocks. That's a good idea. <laughs> or the guy with the fountain wind. Okay. Turn at the fish, attacks Paul. Oh, I will shit. take a bazillion. Yep. Nah, it's just seven. Comment the trigger, I'll make a copy of giant at the fish. Nice. And then in my second main, I'll tap five. Oh, look, another misplay. Still hangover, still hangover. Oh. When when will this clear? I will cast Rebel Rousing. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hide no. away. Oh, oh, so tired. Uh, hide away five. Okay, I'll hide this away. I'm done. Alright, on your end step, I will tap 4. Activate the, the laboratory. And I will investigate. Get a clue. Get a clue. Get a clue. Then, I will untap. And the roll. I'm just gonna tap 6, and I will play my commander. Keep it. The seller of secrets is here. He's come to sell some secrets. When the ETBs, we shall vote. So, either give me a treasure or a clue, and I can vote twice. Starting with so you. So starting with me, I will give myself two treasures. You can have a clue. Clue. Get a clue, get a clue. <laughs> get a clue. Alright, so I get two treasures and three clues. Exactly what I wanted. Disgusting. So in total now I have three clues and two treasures. And should I do anything else? No, no, it's fine. It's fine, I'll it's pass. Fine. On your end step, I will tap one white to untap my devoted druid to get a citizen. A Sweet. citizen. Sure. More tokens. And draw. Alright, I'll pay 5 mana, removing 1 counter to cast my commander. Okay. Comes in with a shield counter. That's right. I will go to combat. <laughs> Devoted through it and uh, will swing at Paul. <laughs> Citizen will go at Matthew. Attack triggers, I get 2 charge counters and I draw 2 cards because of Rigo. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. I, I will take nothing. Yeah, I'll block with the giant edifice. <laughs> Copy. Very well, Citizen. We'll come back later. Then charging into a <laughs> giant insect. So much for defender of the weak. I will play a tapped Balagat Sanctuary. Sure. Okay. And a Ornithopter. Okay. Nice. How many cards in hand are you at? Six. Okay. Oh, sure. He's ready to Zender. <laughs> Zender. 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 And I will pass. I'll draw. So I will play an island. Yep. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12 mana. It's ridiculous. It's not enough. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll play 7 mana for Lord Xander the Collector. Lord Who has the most cards in hand? Jeng, Jeng, Jeng. I have 3. I have 5. So, oh, I would, Gabriel? I would ask <laughs> if you look at the board state. No, he's interested in the hands now. Gabriel, you have to discard half the cards in your hand rounded down. It comes up to three cards. <laughs> just is, three cards. Just three cards. Which is all the cards in my hand. <laughs> yeah, so it's obviously value if I go for you. Yeah, it only makes sense. And you're drawing two cards per turn. This is fine. You will regret your choices. Sorry, I'm thinking of what to discard. <laughs> the chosen one. It's choosing. <laughs> it's choosing. <laughs> I'll discard three cards. 
Mirror Entity, Welcoming Vampire, and Negate. Oh, is, oh Negate. Now I'll say go. There are. Holy shit. I will lay a Temple Garden tap. Okay. Tap for mana. And cast Anointed Procession. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Oh, that's so good. Yes. That's very good. I tap for, I'll cast. Oh no! Jet Mayor! Jet Mayor! Jet Mayor! Okay, let's, let's screw up. Let's screw up Esmond's. Let's screw up Esmond's uh, editing. <laughs> 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 so, uh, now I have three creatures, so they have plus one, plus zero, and vigilance. This is the first time this game I've thought things through. Okay, I'll go in combat. Edifice attacks Gabriel, and copy of the Edifice attacks Esmond. And then Rebel Rousing will trigger. Oh no. I will make. Um, right, the trigger on the stack. Oh, good lord. I will use my treasures. Three mana. Dona. I will void rend. Your anointed procession. Don't uh, please la. <laughs> please la. <laughs> Very nice. I'm sorry, it's just too strong. So destroy your anointed procession. Anointed procession is destroyed and then rebel rousing resolves. I get two city gens. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then I have no blocks. I have no effects as well. Alright, so we we'll take seven each. Eight each. Eight, eight damage. Thank you, Jetmir. And then Giant Edifice triggers, and Giant Edifice triggers, and I get Giant Edifice and Giant Edifice. Very nice. Oh! Uh, cunning Battery actually triggers, oh, which yes. I missed. Okay. So, so let's do that now. Uh, exile the top exile of the top library. library. Oh, okay. That's pretty decent. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, we, made, we messed up the order, but doesn't really affect anything. Right? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. So then I will go to my turn. Untap. The raw. Please. I will tap three. And I will play Ballot Broker. So while voting, I may vote an additional time <laughs> on top of my additional time. This council is rigged. <laughs> yes. It is rigged. Yes. I will move to combat. Matthew, highest life total. Tivit will offer you some secrets and smash you in the face. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. okay what can I do, right? I'll take six. six. Commander. Co Commander. Commander. So on the combat damage trigger, let's vote. Clue. I get to Clue. vote. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to vote three times. I will give myself three yeah, treasures. Yeah, no, no, no shit. Yep, clue. 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 Oh. Alright, and then three more clues. So six clues and three treasures. I think clues are the lesser evil here. Second main, I will tap five mana and I shall play Conjurous Closet. Sure. Oh, Alright. More, more crap. More crap. <laughs> so I'll move my end step. I will target Tivit with Conjurous Closet. Yeah, so you will blink. Whee! Boop. Comes back in. So I'll give myself three more treasures. Clue. Clue. Yeah, clue. Clue, clue, clue. clue. <laughs> Alright. So I'm at five treasures and nine clues. <laughs> I will say go. On your end step, I will take away one counter to untap and get a citizen. Citizen. Come back. Citizen. And another untap. Yep. And then draw. Alright. I will go to combat. Ornithopter will go at Paul. <laughs> <laughs> citizen will go at uh, Matthew. Wait, what? <laughs> and Rigo will go at Esmond. Uh, so, attack trigger? Yeah. Uh, mine triggers first, actually. Oh, right, here you go. Cunning rhetoric triggers. Thank you for the Esper uh, Sentinel. It's not very useful. Yeah. Sorry. And then you get counters. Three counters. On Druid's repository. Okay. Oh. Uh, so, Rigo triggers. Rigo triggers, and I draw two cards. Very good. So, copy of Edifice will block. Yep, and Ballad Broker will block Rigo. Very well. Okay, so Rigo loses the shield counter. Yep. Citizen dies. Bye bye. Goodbye. I'll play a Dream Root Cascade for the turn. Mm -hmm. I tap three to cast Patch Up. Oh, what's it do? What's this? <laughs> return up to three target creatures. <laughs> Mana value three or less. Very nice. Oh. I return Siren Storm Tamer, Fine Horn Elves, and Ginger Root. Oh no. Very good, very good. What a turn. That is all from me. Okay, my turn? My turn? Yes, go ahead. Alright, TV oh no. time! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Untap, draw. Something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. I will tap... 1, 2... Black... Yeah, 4... 5, 6... Is it Helm of the Host? No, it's way be better. It's way funnier. I will cast... The Haunt of High Tower. Oh, nice! When it enters the battlefield, uh, whenever it attacks, if any player discards a trout, whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere. What? Wow, stonks! That's <laughs> <laughs> so, so counter on the Heart of High Tower. Stonks! Thickness of deck. Yeah, just... 
I will move to combat. Yes. Lord Xander the Collector will swing at you, Gabriel. I don't understand. Because <laughs> you can't block, you can't kill it. <laughs> yeah, it's because you can't you kill can't it. You can't kill it. <laughs> Trigger okay, first. Okay, okay. okay, mill half. Okay. This this is the point we waste time trying to figure out how many cards there are in Gabriel's deck. Alright, Gabriel, you are milling 38 cards. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, it's the same. Okay. So, right, you my 38 cards. Oh my god. My goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Haunt of High Tower. <laughs> holy, holy shit. So because you milled a bazillion cards, Hall of Hydro gets a Brazilian counter, okay. which comes up to 38. Okay. Okay, uh, then blocks. I'll tap my Halo Fountain to untap Ornithopter okay. to make a citizen. Okay. And the Z Zender accidentally runs over a citizen. <laughs> okay. It's not that I didn't want to defend it. <laughs> For my second main phase, I will tap 5. I, I will cast Overloaded Vandal Blast. Oh no! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Why would you do that? Why? Oh! I don't know! <laughs> ah, after so many clues, you got so many. I don't understand as well. Oh my goodness, I don't understand. Okay, in response. In response. I will just sacrifice four clues, four treasures to yes. sacrifice two clues. Okay, sure. So I'll draw two cards. And it's still on the stack. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I'll draw two cards from the two clues. Yeah, no, and then I have no more responses. I'll tap two to sacrifice my ginger brute to gain three life. Okay. okay. Very nice. Because ginger brute grows to, is a card and goes to the graveyard, the uh, horn of higher is another plus one the plus one also, actually. Okay, so all artifacts are destroyed. Yep. Yep. And then we need to count how many go to the graveyard. So tokens are not cards. I have three artifacts going to the graveyard. The, oh, and Gabriel two. is two. So total five artifacts go to the graveyard. So on a higher tower triggers. And it has now got 44 counters on it. <laughs> wow, so grateful to be playing Naya today. <laughs> Woo! I yeah. will say go. Good. I've oh. already won at this point. Yes, you have. Okay, so Pearl has already won, so I can kill Pearl now before yes, the Horn can. of High Tower kills me. I will untap and keep the roll. Okay, I'll lay an overgrown farm then before Paul dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tap 3, I'll cast Beast within her. Horn of High Tower. Need to see resolves. Okay, so how the hot tower becomes a 3-3 beast? Becomes a 3-3 beast. It's destroyed, right? Yeah, it's destroyed. I will now I will now proceed to kill Paul. Yes, I will please. Step seven. Oh no. I will cast a secondary commander, Amara Tundris. Oh, very oh nice. wow. Creature tokens I have are indestructible. Uh, no, just prevent all damage. Oh, prevent all damage. <clears throat> oh my god, this is good. Mmm. Combat. How many edifages do I need to kill Paul? Can you actually kill two of us? Maybe. Let me think about it. Okay, so so all three copies of Edifice go at Paul. The OG Edifice and two citizens go at Esmond. Oh no. And Jet Mirror goes at Gabriel. Rebel Rousing triggers. Yep. 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 Okay. I will get seven citizens. And then, because I have ten or more creatures. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, seven. Eight, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, Esmond, yes. I will cast. The exalt card without paying its mana cost. I will cast Song of the Word Soul. Oh my gosh, so I, good. When I cast a spell, pop it. Okay, so now they get plus 3 power and have double strike. Yes. Trample Vigilance. Yep. So at one at the stage is so, one at the stage is 20 damage. One at the stage 20 damage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, I will move to blocks. Tivit will block one citizen and the broker will block another citizen because it doesn't make any difference. Okay. They all have trample. I'll block with a beast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, attack trigger. Oh yes, attack. <laughs> attack trigger, cunning rhetoric, please. Uh, it's one card. One right? card. What is that? Oh damn, I, I, I wanted yes. that. I wanted that. Oh my gosh, that's so bad for me. So I believe I am taking 27. 27. So I'm taking 27 damage. Alright. Uh, Paul, you're taking 60 damage, you're, you're dead. Yep, sure. <laughs> I will take 16. 16? Oh yeah, 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 16. So I'm at 1. I'm at 17. Yes. I, I will be dead. Okay, Tivik will die and go to the command zone. You did well, Paul. I did well. <laughs> okay, I will untap. I will draw for turn. Okay, so I'm going to play a swamp. And then I will tap 6. I will play a Magister of Worth. What does it do? So when it ETBs, each of us votes. Either destroy all creatures, <laughs> except for Magister, or we get to reanimate something from graveyards. I'm sure you know the right option. <laughs> so 
so I will vote for Condemnation, which is destroy all other creatures. Please, Mr. Chosen One. Yep, I will choose to destroy <laughs> all creatures. Okay, Matthew, your vote doesn't matter. Yeah, my vote doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, well, uh, before on the stack, I will tap my fine horn elves yep. because it's Veil of Summer. Okay. okay. I'll draw a card. Yep, because yep. I have a black spell. And then it resolves. Okay, bye bye, creatures. Bye bye, creatures. I'll send it to the command zone, actually. I mean, the, the graveyard. Jetmere is command zone. Okay, and that's it for me. Then draw. I'll play an island. Out at 5. I will cast my Aftermath card. Aftermath card. Dust to Dawn, right? Dust to oh, Dawn! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Xander oh, did this. Xander! <laughs> Xander did this. This is what I returned. With power 2 or less. Two or less. Yes. Oh my goodness. Right, some of them will go back to the graveyard, unfortunately. Ah, ah. Okay, you get a bunch of stuff back to your hand. Yes. Not too bad, not too bad. Paul affecting us from the afterlife. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I've done well. Uh, Onitopter, uh, I'll tap one to play a Ginger Brute. I'll go to combat. Yep. Attack is one now. He's at one. <laughs> Man. Oh, I, you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? Let's kill Matthew together. I will, I will make it unblockable. Let me hit him. That's one. Take one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, attack trigger! Druid's repository goes on my! Attack trigger! Cutting rhetoric! Betrayal! Sure. Ha! <laughs> Betrayal! <laughs> Fine! I shall defend! I will die to a ginger brute! <laughs> Continue! My second main, I have a total of 5 charge counters. Uh, minus 1. I play a Birds of Paradise. And then I go to 3. I play an Elvish Mystic. <sighs> Noble Hierarch. Yep. The last 2. Only top of paradise. <laughs> okay. I will discard down the hand size. Okay, my turn. Untap. Matthew, I support you now. Upkeep. No, token generator. Come on. That is not a token generator. I will cast Jetamir. Jetimir. Stop. Very impressive. Uh, Sound the word so trigger, I populate. And my turn. I draw. I will tap 8 mana. 1, oh 2, 3, gosh. 4, 5. Oh six, no! Crater Hoof! Crater Hoof! I will cast Crater Hoof! <laughs> <laughs> This is the defender of the mid. <laughs> so they all get how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus one, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6, yeah, yeah. 7. So they're all 7, 7. I'm familiar with Crater Hoof math. They're all dead. Okay, yeah, okay good, game, dead. good game, good game, good game, good game. game. <laughs> Give it to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. The chosen one has been chosen. He has defended the weak. After sacrificing a lot of them. Yeah. Well, that's it for another episode of um, Death by Ginger Brood. <laughs> <laughs> I hope all of you enjoyed that because you should have. It was <laughs> epic. <laughs> all the new commanders actually really did stuff, pulled their weight. I mean, I mean, Tivit was doing a lot of things until he got Bendo blasted. I but uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of tokens, uh, treasures, and clue synergies in the deck, and it's really fun actually. Kind of political. The deck name is Politivitics. <laughs> but yeah, I did not expect to die by a ginger brood. So, thank you. No one expects a ginger brood. No one expects a ginger, ginger brood. The chosen one has been chosen by the weak. <laughs> by the weak. <laughs> by the <credible> <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Talk about politics, it will not defeat democracy. <laughs> There was no democracy. Yeah, what are you talking about? There was backstabbing. I know, despite all the misplays, I know exactly the point I lost. If I had just committed Jetmail to you instead, then I killed you, so I killed oh, both yes, you and yes, Paul, yes. then you wouldn't block wipe, then uh, with MRI Tundris, I can block his stuff, even if he could with the next turn. Yes, that's right. I blame yeah. it on the after party. <laughs> the rebels. The rebels. But honestly, Jetmail was. Insane. Pretty insane. Oh, yeah, the plus three and keywords. But I would give it to the Horn of Hightower MVP. Yes, Horn of Hightower MVP. <laughs> Beautiful. I think a lot of people look at Xander and they think about how to make use of uh, how to get all the triggers to go again and again. But honestly, like Xander is like he just comes down once and he does his thing. Right? <laughs> and he's and the thing that he does best is fill people's graveyards. Because the discard, mm. the mill. And yes. the sacrifice, all, all that they do is fill up graveyards. So if you can find a way to use your opponent's graveyards, I think that this is a pretty good commander. Actually, yes. Yeah, it just needs to come down once and die once. Come down once, oh, come die down once, once. Attack once and die once. Yeah, that's it. That's all Xander does. Yeah, Read, the story. Do. Read the story. Read the story. Oh no! Epic game as usual. Spicy cards, interesting decks, new commanders. 
Leave a comment down below what was your favorite moment of the show. Take part in the giveaway. Let us know which was your favorite commander. Like, subscribe, help us get to 100,000 subscribers this year. That would be much appreciated. I see you if upgraded from the 20k. Yes, no, it's always going to be 100. Until we hit 100, then it's a million. But Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all once again for watching. And we will see you next time for new Capenna Commander upgraded.